Hey guys and welcome back to Scotty Knows. Uh, today we're here working back on the Honda V16 motor and what my plans are for today is to actually uh, perform some ring gaps. Um, so um, I've actually looked at the chart here that uh, CP Carrillo actually uh, gave us here and of course you know going off of uh, the bore size here which for this motor is uh, 2.953 um, to get the calculations for the ring gaps, depending on your application, they actually give you a chart here. Hopefully you guys can see that. But they give you a chart here for the street, uh, drag, and nitrous turbo supercharged setups. So I've actually uh, ran two different numbers. So what you do is you take the bore size, which in my case is going to be 2.953. And they say to uh, multiply by these specific numbers here on the ring gap chart. So let's see if I can kind of clear that up here. So kind of blurry and I apologize about that, but I actually did a little bit of math here, uh, which is my favorite subject, not really. Um, so I did two different charts at the high performance, uh, the 2.953 times the 0 0.0045, turns out for the top ring to be 0 0.013. And then of course for your second ring, you add 0.004 to 0.008 for your second ring. So I kind of took the middle and uh, added 0.006 in there, which for my second ring should give me 0.019. And then of course I did the math for the turbo setup, which is ultimately my intentions. Um, so again, the 2.953 times 0.0055, uh, which is on the chart here. Might be kind of hard to see that. So again, I apologize for that. And then again with the math, you know, going 0.006, for my second ring actually gives me 0 0.022. So what I've done is actually got my feeler gauge out uh, to both settings here, and I'm gonna check the chart, uh, the, uh, the ring. So let me get one ring, I'll uh, start with the top ring and we'll go from there. So I got the top ring installed. You can kind of see the gap I have over here in the corner. Uh, I push it down with one of the pistons, make sure everything is flat and level. So typically I'm gonna go with the turbo charge setup. So I got the gap here or the feeler gauge uh, 0.16 I'm going to check that so if I slide that in it should give you a little bit of resistance not a whole lot I should still kind of go through here so I was kind of nervous that I'd probably have to file some of these rings down but so far it looks pretty good so uh, the first ring for this first piston uh, is looking pretty good so let me grab the second one and we'll try the second number so I kind of got the piston in piston ring so I got it sitting in there I'm gonna go ahead and get it flush make sure everything is even that gives me good numbers so I have that in here and then of course I got to adjust my feeler gauge to which I believe that I put down is 0 0.022 so let me adjust that and we'll check it out all right so I got my feeler gauge here um, I got to set the point uh, zero, or zero two two. So checking this gap. It's a little tight. A lot tight actually. So indicating to me uh, that it has to be filed down a little bit. So let me see if I can grab my file, um, see if I can keep it straight and, and take a little bit of this metal off. All right, so I got a little bit of filing done. Uh, reset the ring here, gonna double check again. Uh, 0 0.022 and just a slight little bit of resistance there and we're perfect. And of course, the last thing that I need to check is for the oil rings here, um, which is a minimum of 0 0.015. So I do have that here. I'm gonna go ahead and check that similar to the other ones and, and see how that looks. 
So I'm measuring my oil rings. Um, I got my gap to the 0 0.015, which is the minimum, and it clears no problem. So should be good to go with the oil rings. I'll check out the other one real quick, and then uh, we can start putting one of the uh, piston ring sets on. All right, so with the piston here, uh, make sure you have your oil ring, um, which is going to go on the bottom here. Um, and it should go in there pretty good. And then I got the two uh, oil rings that will go around that. Plus the other rings. I can get this thing together here. Two oil rings. I got my middle ring. And of course, um, if you guys can see, there's like a little mark up here. And that's going to be the top and it should be on both rings so like i was saying kind of clean my camera a little bit hope you guys can see there's a little mark up here that indicates the top which is on the middle ring here as well as you can kind of see it right there under my finger it's also going to be the top so we're going to start with the oil ring and then we're going to put these on and get them together now one thing to make mention is that these spring openings here should face down. You see the ends here should face down on the uh, piston. Got the rings on um, you want to be very very careful if you don't have the specific tools like me uh, not to scratch your piston when you're putting that on and then naturally before I install the piston um, I'll turn the uh, rings to kind of clock them um, and, and you definitely don't want to make sure they're on the same side that's not a good thing so we'll clock them around and, and set that up beforehand um, and then go from there so I got these ready to go this pistons ready um, I got three more sets of rings to gap, so I'm going to take care of that. Um, I probably won't show the entire process for that. I'm pretty sure you don't want to see um, three more sets being done. Um, but the same thing, you know, you just want to make sure that you set them in. Uh, make sure you gap them all beforehand and you should be good to go. So um, we'll resume. I'll gap all the rings, uh, get some of these put back together, and uh, we'll be ready to install some pistons. All right, guys, so here we are. I went ahead and got all the... Uh, stuff together here all the pistons got the rods and stuff on them or the rings rather so we're ready to install just got to clock them and of course you know naturally like we said the uh, bigger side is the intake smaller side is the exhaust so left side is the exhaust right side is the intake and you know looking at the book that i have might be hard to kind of see it but it tends to just kind of give you the the gaps so to kind of go over that um you can probably see in here i got one gap for the oil ring right up just to the left it has another gap for the other bottom oil ring the second ring is actually facing towards the intake side i probably got to rotate that over a little bit more and of course the uh, top oil ring should be back in the back so i guess i'm gonna slide some oil in here see if i can get this thing in and uh see if i can get these pistons installed all right, so I went ahead and lubed up the inside of this and got the uh, piston kind of clamped down. Um, again, just making sure I got the right orientation when I slide it in there. Um, the smaller side, the right side is the exhaust, and the other side is the intake. So naturally, when I go to install it, of course, I got to take the uh, cap off the back. So I'll do that real quick.
course, the intake is on this side, so I want to install it this way. And I get it right on there. Once everything is straight, then I'll just tap it in. So let me grab my little mallet and we'll go from there. All right, so got one piston set in. Um, and of course, they got more to do. Uh, so let me go ahead and get those rings clocked and we'll set these in. So got pretty much everything in. I still have to torque uh, the cradle here. Um, I did put oil in all the bolts, you know, prior to sliding them in there. And of course I got to torque down the uh, rod bolts here as well, but I'm going to do both in sequences. So probably going to start with the top here, go ahead and get the cradle kind of cranked down here. Um, and of course with this, it does, it is uh, probably hard to see. But 38 pounds, which I'll probably do in two sequences. I might do maybe 15, 20, and then I'll do a final one. And of course, you want to go in alternating patterns to kind of lock everything down. So I'll do two sequences of those. And the same with the uh, rod bolts, I'll do two sequences uh, according to the spec sheet that I have. It looks to be uh, 46 pounds. So again, I'll do a couple of sequences of those as well, uh, just to make sure everything is torqued properly. So let me grab my tools and we'll get torquing.
Right, so I got the first set down about 20 pounds. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and skip this step for the second round. Go ahead and torque these down uh, while it's still easier to turn by hand. And then uh, we'll finish up with this. So let me grab my other bit. We'll go ahead and torque these down. Alright, so got all the rods, uh, rod bolts tight. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my second sequence for this, uh, which is actually gonna be 38 pounds, and then uh, should be good to go. Alright, so we got everything in there. Just giving a little test. I think we are good. All right, so everything is looking real good here. Um, just as, you know, I never, I didn't show it on camera, but I did actually lube up some of the cylinders. Um, I did do that a couple times just to make sure everything goes kind of smooth. Um, but everything's working good. Um, I do got some more parts to order here so I can finish up this block. And then we can start assembling the head. So I'm getting everything prepped for the assembly for this. Um, got some parts on order. And then we should be good to go, but we're getting somewhere, so it's coming along. But I think that's going to be a wrap for today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, we got some pistons installed. Everything is looking really well. Um, coming along, got some, plenty of parts to order, um, but we're getting somewhere. So hopefully everything will work well with this motor. Seems to spin okay, no problems. Um, again, all the gaps and, and clearances are, are pretty good. Um, but stay tuned. You know, I got a lot more coming for this build. Um, so stay tuned for the next episode where hopefully I have some more parts in so I can start assembling some of this block um, and then I can start working on the head. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and uh, please like, subscribe, comment, uh, share the video, uh, whatever you guys like to do. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys that are, are, are watching. So uh, again, thank you and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.